Well, it's that time of year when Mansat dish out the awards to people who have been very clever entering the competitions <laughs> and uh, normally going off to Houston, but that's a, we'll come to that bit in a bit. Rachel, 21 years, I believe, this has been going on now, hasn't it? Yes, I mean, you know, Mansat, their big focus is on educational sponsorship and we're very proud that we're now in our 21st um, year of these awards. Um, obviously, the last two years have been been held virtual, but as you said, we'll, we'll, we'll come on to that. Yeah. <laughs> uh, David, yeah, let's do it now. You should have been in Houston. <laughs> Didn't quite happen, but you had a great time. I understand it will be it virtually this time. Yes, obviously, it's disappointing not being able to go to Houston, but it was honestly a brilliant experience anyways. So meeting so many people from all over the world and even over Zoom, it was incredible and just getting the insights of everyone because, of course, this opportunity has also provided us with the opportunity to meet experts in their fields and gain their insights. So astronauts like Chris Hadfield we even met, as well as experts in um, nuclear propulsion, in space radiation, in biotechnology, all sorts, and it was just... There's no experience like it, honestly. It's thank you so much to Mansat for it because well, well it was amazing. You. Well done to <laughs> you because it's a phenomenal achievement to to receive one of those places on the the this, scholarships. This is such a gateway to if you've got an interest in this sort of thing because your very first winner, of course, has gone on to work for you. Hasn't <laughs> yes, it? yes. So Dr. Jennifer Stone, she was our first winner um, in the year 2000, and she has since uh, gone on to, to to work for Mansat. So she's been been with Mansat for a number of years now. Um, so yeah, a very inspiring story and proof that this you know, scholarship could open up the doors into this type of industry. Any ideas what you're going to do yet? I'm unsure, to be completely honest, but the amount of doors that this has opened for me, I'm sure that I'll end up doing something to do with this in the future. So. And the good news, just to finish with, uh, you, you, you already know this, but it's just the fact that because you only went virtual this year, uh, the door is open for next year, which is lovely. Which is? Because you, yes. You opened it up higher? Yes. So um, the 21-22 competition um, will be opened up to years 12 and 13 students. Um, so everyone um, will have the chance to enter in those year groups. And our big hope, I'm keeping my fingers sincerely crossed, is that the students will be able to go to Houston yeah. in person next year. But still, uh, something you, you've done a beautiful job here selling it. I mean, what did you have to do for it? Uh, was it quite difficult? Uh, well, so this year it was each day there was a whole school meeting which was compulsory attendance, which was everybody from all around the world, all 40 students meeting, getting an update from the FISE team and on what like our objectives would be, what we'd have to do. And obviously, this year, normally, I'm, from what I've heard, you'd go to Houston and be split into teams to work on a mission to Mars. But because of the whole virtual thing, we were instead split into smaller teams and set onto a mission for an asteroid. So my team worked on a mining mission to the asteroid series. And so there was all sorts to do with that. And everything. You got there all right and you didn't crash or anything like that? <laughs> yes, well... <laughs> Well, again, we were focusing more on the mining operation than the transportation, but... Did you get what you wanted? Anyway? Yes. <laughs> oh, right. That's fantastic. Okay, so if... People need to look out for this. I, mean, you, I know you, you go to the schools every day, but when will it happen next year? Um, next imminently, time? we're about to announce the award. So um, the notifications will go out to, to all the high schools. Um, so, yeah, watch the space. It's on its way out. What would you say to people? Think about it. Go for it. No matter how, like, how much you think you could get it, no matter how confident you are, go for it. Because if you don't, you're not going to. And there's nothing like it ever. So... <laughs> he sold that. He sold that very well, didn't he? <laughs> yes. Do it. Get on with it. Thank you. <laughs>